What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Python 3 Basics video. In this video what we're going to be talking about is list manipulation within Python. So the last video we talked about tuples versus lists and we said that lists are mutable which means we can manipulate them, change them, and all sorts of fun stuff. And there's a lot of built-in things that we can do with lists so we don't have to program our own ways around it. So with that let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to need an example list. So let's just make an example list. You do not have to copy my exam exact uh, list. Feel free to make your own. I'm just making numbers up right now. There's my list. Uh, so now the next thing that we want to do is like, let's say you've got this list and you want to add something to it. You see we only have one, two, three, four twos. We want one more two. So let's say we want to add another two. Well that's going to be append, right? So it's just like writing files, right? Append. You're just adding something to the end. So we can do uh, the following, x dot append two. And what this is going to do is it's going to modify this x variable. Okay, So it's just going to automatically add this. So it's changing the variable of x. So uh, now when we print x, we can run this. And we see that we started with 7, 2, and now it's 7, 2, 2. Okay. So that's how we can add um, add information. So a list can really contain anything. So I was going to say add a number, but actually you can add numbers. You can really add any any sort of Python data type. You can boom shove it in there. So a Python list doesn't have to be just numbers or strings. And so you can do a lot of really fun stuff with this, especially uh, later on we'll talk about dictionaries, which you can do even more fun stuff uh, with. But anyway, more on that later. Now what if uh, you want to insert a number or add a number uh, and you don't want it to go to the end. Well, you use insert, which is what I was thinking. and That's why I said it. But anyway, you use insert. So instead of append to, let's say we want to insert uh, two. And what we can do, the first, uh, I might have these flipped. The first one uh, is where you want to insert it. So the element ID that you want it, where you want to insert it. And then the second one is what is the value that you want to insert. So let's say we want to insert into uh, index of 2, and we want to insert 99. So we actually are positive that we, we inserted it correctly. Um, so let's do that. So let's save and run that. All right, so in the second, L, or second index spot, so again, this is 0th, 1st, 2nd, uh, we did enter a 99. So that's how you can insert data exactly where you want it. So sometimes append isn't exactly what you want. Now, uh, what if you actually want to remove data? So we've talked about how we add. How do we get rid of data? Well, uh, it's simple as remove, x dot remove. And this is going to remove the first example. So here we have a lot of twos. Let's say we want to get rid of one of the twos. Um, we'll just do two. We'll print x. So this this list will do five, six, one, basically, um, because we remove the first two from this list. Simple enough. Um, the other thing that we could do is you can remove, say you wanted to remove, uh, you know, the third element, or or let's let's get this two removed again. But let's say we want to remove it a little differently. So we can remove like this. We can say remove the x uh, two, right? So we can do something like that, and we've still removed that two so we're saying here we want to remove the third element in the list but the index value of two right so that is the third element but anyway so that's how you do that um, so let's say you can remove not only the specific number or you can even reference the number that you want to remove using the list that you're trying to remove from uh, the next thing that we want to do is we already know that we can reference that with this so uh, again we showed it in the last video but just in case you forgot you can reference data so x the item in x, the list of x, right, with an uh, index value of 5, so that should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that should be a 7, save and run that, sure enough, it's a 7, that's how we can reference that data, uh, another thing we can do is what's called slicing, so we can get a slice of this data, so say we want to get uh, x from the you know, element ID of, or index of 5 to the index of 7, we can get that slice, so it prints 7, 2, and it stops. It goes from the first element, right, and then it goes up to the ending element. So as you can see, we didn't get 3, we got 2 elements. So it printed the uh, index of 
5, the end is of 6, and then it stopped because it had reached 7. So again, here we go. There's a few more elements for you. So we'll close out of this. Uh, so that's how you can uh, access a slice. Also, if you want to access, you know, maybe, let's say you want to access the last element of a list, you would use negative 1. So that will give us a 2. Okay, you can do the same thing. You could say negative 2. That will give us a 7. Okay, so that's how you can kind of go to the end of a list uh, as well. So uh, now uh, one of the other things I want to do is we can say print, let's say x. Say we want to print, um, say you want to know what, like say you want to get rid of the 6. Or let's say, let's see if we have any, okay, 1. 1 is only occurs once. Let's say you want to get rid of the number one in this list, but you don't know it's a number one, <laughs> or you want to know the element ID of number one. Let's just say for whatever reason you want to know the, or the, rather the uh, index value of the number one in this list, what you would do is at x dot index one. So this is just going to tell us what is the index value of one. Right now this doesn't make sense, but I'll show you in a moment why this will be useful uh, to get the index value. Right now it might not matter to you, but when it what happens is when you have two lists that are in uh, relation to each other and you can get the element or the uh, index value of one item in its list, you can immediately find the corresponding value in the other list. Why you would do that over a dictionary, I'm not positive, but you might find yourself needing this. So anyway, we'll show it anyways. So print x index one, the index value of one is three. Sure enough, zero, one, two, three, we were right, yay. The other thing that we can do is say we are curious uh, how many of a, of a certain variable uh, is in there or certain uh, data is in there. Uh, what we can do is x.count um, and we can do count and let's say we want to know how many sixes there are. So print x.count uh, and we have three. There is literally a dog under me snoring. I am so sorry if you guys are hearing that. Anyway, I think I woke him up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, so let's count. We can count how many uh, values uh, of this are in there. Uh, the next thing that we can do with lists is we can sort a list. And generally, a list is actually very, well, Python is going to sort it intuitively. So with numbers, it will sort it um, you know, numerically. And if you have text or string data in here, it's going to sort it alphabetically. So let's just show an example. So print x.sort. Oops. Um, actually, what we want to do is this. Sorry, we don't want to print. Uh, so we'll do x dot sort, and then we'll print x like that. Okay. So the, the, what I did there is you can't really print x dot sort. Sort is a function that is being run on x. So when you do x dot sort again, lists are mutable. So this is actually changing the x uh, list right now. So that's why I couldn't get away with printing it. But anyway, so x dot sort, then we print x and we see that it was sorted uh, numerically for us. Nice. The other thing that we could do is, let's say we have uh, another list, y equals, and we have some names in here. We have uh, uh, Janet, we've got Jesse, I like those J's, man. We've got uh, Kelly, we've got Alice, we've got a Joe. And we've got a Bob. Okay, uh, we can do y dot sort print. Whoops, print y. Save and run that, and we can see that this was sorted alphabetically for us. So we don't actually have to say, "Hey, sort this alphabetically," or "Sort this, sort this by number." It just kind of does it. But if you want to sort a list, that's how you can do it. And uh, so this, I, th I think that'll be it, at least for list manipulation. We'll be covering some more uh, in the next video as far as like showing two different lists. Um, the next video, I think we're going to cover probably doing a CSV file. And then, in, and then I'll show you how you can, um, why that find functionality was, was useful. So anyways, if anybody has any questions or comments, I kind of ran through a lot of the uh, things that we can do with lists. Hopefully I did a decent job of just covering the, the tip of the iceberg here when it comes to list manipulation. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all of the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.